What can a track do that a sample's can't? To be honest, not much. Hi kids, how are we doing? Today I'm taking a quick look at making random complex ARP sequences on the samples. One of the features I really like on the tracks is the random steps feature. which picks steps at random with notes on them to create new patterns. I love a bit of random and I was wondering if there was some way that you could implement something similar on the samples. Turns out with a little bit of thought and a bit of prep work you can do something similar. We need to use the sample start parameter, the chance parameter and the repeat button. But first we need an ARP pattern to use. Just to mix things up, I'm going to use six steps on the Crave with just a touch of short delay from the Flow 8. And this will give us two bars of 3-4 time for an ARP. Once we've recorded this short 3-4 ARP pattern, we just slice it down in Audacity to get a nice clean loop. And then upload it onto the samples. Once the loop is on the samples, we can start to think about where we can place each of the ARP notes. If you remember when we went about making complex beats, we worked out that the samples cuts each sample into 120 discrete chunks. It's this 120 that we can use to work out the chunk value of each step. So how many sample slices or chunks there are for each step. If you also remember when we looked at polymeter, we worked out that three, four time needs 12 steps. That's three beats cut into four parts. So if we lay this out on a table, we can see that each step relates to a certain amount of chunks from the sample. And that changes depending upon whether you have a one bar loop or a two bar loop. As we are working with the two bar loop, each beat is worth 20 chunks. So beat one is on zero, beat two is on the 20th chunk, beat three is on the 40th chunk. And when we get to chunk 60, that's beat one of the next bar. Of course, part of the fun of this approach is that you can change where the notes fall when you come to program them. So, you might put beat 3 of the ARP on beat 2 on the samples. Or 
or beat one of the second bar of the loop on the second beat of the bar By mixing and matching, you can create a new and interesting loop. Once we've built a basic pattern, we can start playing with the chance parameter. By fiddling with this knob, we can see that it does something special. Notes are dropped at random and it continues playing until it's interrupted by another note starting. Of course, sometimes another note is not played in time and the sample plays through to the end and it stops and then you're left with some gaps. This is where the loop button comes in. If you press the loop button now, when the sample gets to the end, it loops back round to the sample start point and plays all over again and it will continue doing that for as long as the decay value is set. In this way, if you have the decay set to infinite, you never have a break in the pattern at all. This can make things quite interesting. So you get patterns which seem to start and repeat at random points. If the pattern plays at a start point of the first bar, then the repeat will be the whole two bars until it's interrupted. If you start on the beginning of the second bar, then you will get the whole of that second bar repeated until it's interrupted. Things can get a bit stranger if you have one and a half bars being repeated and it can get a bit repetitive if you only have half a bar being repeated at the end. You can use this technique with any form of repetitive loop to make things a bit more random and creative. I think I need to experiment maybe with some guitar riffs or with modular patches from Outboard Kit. Or I think my next try will be to get my hand pan out and play around with that. Okay, that's it for this week. If you found it useful, make sure you press the like button because that really helps my channel. If you've made it to the end and you're not a subscriber, you need to subscribe for more half assed tutorials like this one. And remember, somebody else might find this useful. So 
in the words of the Syria Cybernetics Corporation, share and enjoy. Bye kids. <laughs>